Hi everybody, one of your four markers is going to be a draw related question. Most of the time it's going to be draw a diagram, but sometimes it could be draw a chart. Maybe it's a bar chart or something, a line chart. So bear in mind, it's not always a diagram question, but most of the time it is. So I'm going to focus on the diagram related questions here. They are worth four marks. Really, really easy questions to score four marks on. Make sure you hit these four different criteria. You must start number one by labeling everything. So important in economics to label. I can't understate that. It's so, so important. A little um, guideline for you, something helpful to keep in your head, is whenever you're drawing an economics diagram, think, have I aced it? Have I labeled my axes, all of them? Have I labeled my curves, all of them? Have I labeled my equilibria, all of them? Have I labeled everything? The examiner will be checking and inspecting. As soon as you forget to label something, you are doomed. Forget to label one of your two axes, you are in big, big trouble. You might even score zero. So you've got to make sure that these are fully labelled. Focus on what the question is asking intently. The worst thing would be for you to just misread the question and draw an irrelevant diagram or a diagram that doesn't answer the question. So read the question carefully. Add maximum detail, right? So if you can show welfare loss, show welfare loss on a market failure diagram, for example. If you want to write something on the diagram to make it clear, write using arrows to show changes in price and changes in quantities, or changes in price, changes in the price level. On a, a macro ASAD diagram, showing the full employment level of Apple, all these key little extras, if they show off your economic knowledge and what you have in there and how good you are as a student, then add it on, absolutely, as long as it's relevant to what the question is asking to the diagram you need to draw. And lastly, an examiner will always check and always want uh, diagrams to be drawn big. Normally in the paper you'll be given the axis, you'll be given the space to draw it in, so you're forced to draw it big. But examiners like diagrams to, to be drawn in pencil, they do, and to be drawn using a ruler. It just adds to good presentation. So use a pencil, use a ruler, it will show up when it's scanned, don't worry about it, but do it, okay? It's very easy to make mistakes, hence why a pencil is important. The worst thing would be you to start scribbling things out, you know, looking terrible, and use a ruler again to aid with presentation. You're not going to lose marks if you don't do this, but examiners like it. I've heard it from chief examiners, okay? You should be scoring four marks. Again, be fast, but be accurate. Don't be complacent on these diagrams. Do everything you need and you'll score four marks. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you all in the next video.